how to get good at Blender in 2024. Well, guess what? It's exactly the same shit as it was in 2023 and 2022 and 2013. Believe it or not. You know, every January you go out here on YouTube and you type in Blender and there's going to be a dude who just put out a video how to learn Blender in 2023. And when you click on the video, you got a bunch of cool animations, you got all this eye candy going on in the back. And there's a dude talking to you. I don't remember what the guy looked like, but I would be willing to bet money that he's fat. And he's telling you about all the new updates in Blender. Blender 4.2. The new features that they added for rendering and ray tracing. The new add-on updates for all this different shit. The new technology that Unreal Engine came up with. That's what he's telling you about. That's how you learn Blender in 2024. This is what you gotta know. And of course, the video gets a whole lot of views. And congratulations to the gentleman for figuring out how to stick his foot up your dumb asses' asses. Because you guys believe that shit is what's gonna make you good at Blender. Alright? Well, guess what? That ain't what's gonna get you good at Blender. Alright? So maybe I'll be the first Blender YouTuber to talk some common sense. Although I think there are a few others who I won't name because I heard that they were running their mouth about me. So maybe you guys can confirm below if that's true. But anyway, here's a little bit of common sense for you guys. Here's how you get good at Blender. And here's how you get good at anything in life. All right? Because that's right. It's all the same shit. Aryan, why do we have pictures of LeBron James, Mike Tyson, Uncle Sam, and Elon Musk? Well, the reason that we got pictures of all these people in the same place is because they all have something in common, okay? Now, these people, or these entities, if you will, because this one right here, Uncle Sam, consists of a couple of people, not just one person. But these people are all very good at something, all right? I don't know if they're the best. I don't watch basketball. I didn't go to the military and I'm never going to the military. But these people are all very good at something. And the one thing that they have in common, which makes them good at something, is this. It's all they fucking do. LeBron James throws ball all day, every day. Mike Tyson throws hands all day, every day. Elon Musk is starting and running companies all day, every day. And these guys are starting and fighting wars all day, every day. Of course they're going to be good at it. Of course they're going to be good at it. So, for some reason, some people are surprised when you tell them that the only way that you can get good at something is if that's all that you fucking do. Alright? Some people genuinely don't want to take this advice. Alright? And when Aryan says this, Aryan is an asshole. Aryan gives you generic advice. Aryan's cocky and he swears and he has no manners and whatever. 
But that still doesn't change the fact that it's true. And I'm right. And let me tell you this, okay? If you disagree with what I'm about to tell you, this is not my opinion. This is a fact. You are a fucking idiot. And there's still going to be somebody in the comments or there's somebody sending me messages or there's somebody making a Reddit post who's going to disagree. Okay? Well, for those of you who are listening, you can use it as a beautiful filter. Anybody who disagrees with objective reality, check this out, they are a fucking idiot. All right? So look. We got past the common sense part, all right? If, if that doesn't stick with you, then you probably shouldn't be clicking on videos about how to get good at Blender because you're never gonna get good at Blender if you don't spend a lot of time doing Blender, okay? So from this point on, we're going to assume that you understand that you have to spend a whole lot of time in Blender to get good at Blender, which means you understand that you can't be playing no video games, okay? You can't be watching Netflix. You can't be hanging out with your girlfriend all day if you even got a girlfriend. How few people never touched a girl in your life? We'll talk about that on another occasion. And then you're surprised how you're not, how are you and how are you so good at Blender? How is this guy so, that other, I'm not even that fucking good. How are you so good at this? How are you so good at that? Okay, well look, first of all, you gotta spend a lot of time practicing. We all understand that at this point. If you don't understand that, if you disagree with that, you already clicked away from this video, okay? So we're past that shit right now, all right? I'm gonna try not to get myself mad on this video because I'm gonna try not to just bully you guys. I'm trying to teach you something reasonable, all right? So what I'm about to give you in this video, instead of, instead of telling you about the new features and the new updates and all this shit, I'm about to drop some common sense on you guys and lay down a path for you for how you can get good at Blender and not just Blender, how you can get good at anything in life. Because guess what? As you understand by now, probably, if you follow my content, you understand that I'm very good at a lot of different things, okay? And if that offends you, then fine. Go be mad, go say Aryans, and fine, I don't care, but that's a fact. I'm very good at many different things. And all those different things I learned in the exact same way, okay? And I'm gonna give you that formula which I use to get good at shit because it's all exactly the same, all right? So bear with me. Let me pull up a picture for you guys here. I'll pull out a picture of something a little bit different for you. I'm gonna try not to take a violent picture because most pictures of this era are very violent, okay? So I'm gonna take a picture, let's say this one right here, we got people farming. I googled the Middle Ages, all right? You see, back in the day, In the, in the 1400s, in the 1500s, if you wanted to get good at something, for example, if you wanted to learn a new skill, if you wanted to learn how to write, if you wanted to learn how to read, if you wanted to learn about mathematics, if you wanted to learn about architecture, whatever, right? You would have to go back here, probably to this building over here, and you have to enroll into university. And most likely you have no chance of doing that because you grew up in poverty, whatever, right? Anyway, it was very difficult back then to learn something. That's why everybody was so fucking stupid. Nobody was good at anything. Everybody was just a peasant who couldn't even speak, who couldn't even write. They didn't know fuck all. People were really, really stupid back in that day, right? Now, you would think that in 2024, we got economic stability, more or less. World War III is around the corner and all this. We're collapsing in the West and all this other shit. But that aside, more or less, everybody goes to school. 
more or less everybody has the money to buy a couple of books. I'm talking about, you know, Western civilization, the civilized world. I'm not, I'm not talking about the people who don't have food under their fucking nose. All right. But more or less everybody has access to some education. And somehow still there are people who aren't good at anything. Do you understand what I'm telling you? If you're living in the 1200s and I ask you what's the square root of 16 or I ask you to name the first four planets in the solar system and you tell me you don't know, I understand. Okay? Or if I ask you what is communism or if I ask you any trivial question like that or any arbitrary if I ask you about any arbitrary topic like that and you tell me you don't know, I understand, okay? This university is full. It's only for rich people. You don't have a penny in your fucking pocket. It's probably feudalism, so there's no chance you're ever getting out of it, okay? But it's 2024, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't have those problems anymore, okay? So right now, right now, the only reason that you're not very good at something at which you want to be very good at is because you're not trying. You're, that, you're really not putting that much effort into it, all right? Because let me tell you something, all right? Let me, let me try to demonstrate something about this world that we live in right now, which might completely blow your mind. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but for most people, I think this is going to be completely mind-blowing. And the reason I say this is because I know how people think. I have a lot of people following me on social media. I have a lot of people sending me messages and commenting on my shit every single day from all over the world, from many different age groups, from many different socioeconomic backgrounds. Every day almost, I make polls on Instagram where I ask arbitrary questions just to see people's opinions on certain topics. And based on that, I can analyze how people think and what people know or what people don't know. For example, most people don't know that democracy is a lie. Most people don't understand this. Most people really believe that if you go vote, the government is actually going to take your opinion into consideration when deciding who is going to be the next leader of the country. This is not the reality. This is a lie. For some reason, people don't understand this. Anyway, that aside, that's a different topic. We're going to forget about that right now. Let's say you ask me something which I don't know. Let's say you ask me, Aryan, Aryan, how, I know a lot of things, so it's difficult for me to come up with something that I don't know. Aryan, how do you milk a cow? Okay. Now, I'm not a farmer. I did spend a lot of time in my childhood in the countryside, but I don't know how to milk a cow properly. Yeah, you pull the titties into a bucket, but there's probably something that you got to do. You can't just drink that milk, okay? Let's do something more complicated. How do you... How do you write... A poem. I have no idea how to write a poem. Check this out, guys. You're not ready for this. A poem is a singular piece of poetry. Poems don't have to rhyme. They don't have to fit any specific format. And they don't have to use any specific vocabulary or be about any specific topic. But here's what they do have to do. Use words artistically by employing figurative language. Okay. Poetry expresses emotions and conveys ideas, but that's not all they do. Poets tell stories, teach lessons, and even communicate hidden messages through poetry. 
when you listen to music, you're listening through poetry. You get the fucking idea, all right? I just have to read this article. And next thing you know, I can write a poem. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I don't have any money less in my pockets right now. In fact, I'm filming this video with exactly zero cents in my pockets. It took me exactly 10 minutes to read this entire article. And if that's not enough for you, guess what? You can now go to YouTube. You can go to Instagram. You can go to ChatGPT. You can go to Wikipedia. You can study the great poets. You can learn about the modern poets and how they write poems. You can look up any poem that has ever been written and recorded. And guess what? You can write a fucking poem. All right? So what I'm trying to tell you here is that unlike these peasants right here, you basically have access to unlimited information. Okay? Let me show you something else. Aryan, I'm not good at mathematics. I can't do this blender shit. I'm not good at geometry. I don't know how to. I'm not, I was never good at math. I can't learn about calculus. My parents want me to be a mathematician or an engineer, but I'm not good at math. Let me show you something. You didn't know the square root of 16, right? Do you have any idea when Stalin took over the Soviet Union? Joseph Stalin it tells you right there. From 1924 until his death in 1953. You are now a historian. You want to become a historian? Read every Wikipedia article about Stalin, Hitler, Mussolini, Enver, Kadar, Tito. You fucking name it. Winston Churchill, Mao. All of a sudden, you're a World War II historian. So you understand, you understand that you have unlimited access to information. Which means if I ask you something and you tell me you don't know, it means you simply have not made the effort to learn it, okay? There is no reason why you can't become good at something. So if you tell me that you want to be good at something, but you're not good at it, or you're asking me how to become good at it, from this point on, now that you heard this message, now you understand that this makes you a fucking idiot. Because you understand that it's very easy to learn it. You just have to Google it. Literally just Google it. You want to put on muscle. You want to talk to girls. You want to make some money. You want to be learn how to become a photographer. You want to learn how to make YouTube videos. You want to learn how to make music. You want to learn how to play guitar. Just Google it. Literally just Google it. Google it. You want to learn how to be confident. How to not, uh, be, how to not have attention deficit. Google it. Google it. Literally just Google it. How to not be a fat ass. Google it. It ain't rocket science. So that's the first step. All right? You Google it and now you understand, okay, this is how you become good at something. All right? Now, since I made you click on this video for the purpose of Blender specifically, I'm going to tell you how you actually get good at Blender. Okay? If... You are a complete beginner. This is what you do. Take notes. Because I'm not going to write this shit down. Take notes. This is what I did. I'm now a professional. I make really good money out of this shit. All right? First of all, you go to YouTube and you watch two or three 10-minute beginner tutorials. Just get familiar with the program. Understand that middle click is going to spin your shit around the screen. Zoom in, zoom out. G to move, scale, whatever, rotate, understand this shit. Understand that here you have some tools called modifiers which are going to change how your object looks. Understand some of the basic shit that they're going to teach you in the, in the basic tutorials just so you understand 
what you're looking at when you open Blender for the first time, all right? That's 30 minutes of work, if even that. Now, you're going to make a list, open up Paint and write what I'm about to say. The first thing you're going to write is modeling. The second thing you're going to write is texturing. And the third thing you're going to write is rendering. You can also throw an animation if you want to, but I, I just put that in the same section as rendering because it's basically the same shit, all right? So now if you want to learn how to model in Blender, you're going to go to ChatGPT and you're gonna ask him, hey ChatGPT, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Chat GPT, new chat. Let me make sure I don't have any politically incorrect shit that's gonna get me canceled over here on the side. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I don't want you guys to see where I live. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Anyway. Anyway. Now you're going to ask ChatGPT, hey ChatGPT, if I want to learn how to model in Blender, what do I need to learn? You don't even have to spell it right. Well, now ChatGPT is giving you topics which are going to tell you exactly how to get good. Basic mesh modeling, topology and edge flow, modifiers, UV unwrapping, sculpting. You don't even have to do sculpting. Materials and texturing, lighting and rendering. Animation basics, he's even going to tell you this is optional. And then he's going to tell you it's practice and projects. A computer program just told you how to get good. Okay, well now you just keep digging. Basic mesh modeling. Blender modeling tools. Blender modeling tools. It's an Aryan video. Tools. There you go. Blender tools. Extrude region. You press E and you extrude. Good. Extrude manifold. Give me the toolbar. Box select. You press B. You can just read this shit all day and now you got and now you basically know every single tool that exists in Blender. All right? And then you do the same shit for texturing, you do the same shit for animation. You watch two of my tutorials and you see how I put everything together. And all of a sudden, you understand how projects are made in Blender. And guess what? You can't do this in one day. You can't create this camera in photorealistic in a photorealistic manner in Blender by just googling it. Otherwise, if you google how to get abs, you're gonna get abs. And guess what, it ain't gonna happen. Now you have the information, so now you know exactly what to do. You've been educated in the topic. Now you have to figure out a way to apply this so that you can get some practical skills. This is the same reason why everybody who goes to school, they graduate, now you can't get a job, now you're complaining about the market, now you're complaining about the economy and your government is, listen, just because you know something doesn't mean you're good at it, you dumbass. Just because you got a diploma doesn't mean you're good at it, okay, do you understand? Now you have to take this knowledge and use it to create something. And when you create something, now you have experience in applying this knowledge physically, all right? So what I did when I was learning Blender, when I was just starting out, I decided, okay, now I learned some tools from a couple of tutorials. Let me look at an object. Let me look at it. I started with a tank. Let me try to make this tank. If I can't make this tank, 
I'm going to stop and I'm going to try to look for the answer for how I can solve this problem. It doesn't matter if it takes me two days or two weeks or two months. I want to get good at this, so that's what I'm going to do. So if you don't understand that you have to be willing to do what you, whatever you got to do, whatever it takes, if you're not willing to do that, you're not going to be able to accomplish anything. All right? And if you're trying to do this, you don't have time to play video games. Because most people are going to tell me that when they play video games, they're, gonna, they're resting. It's a break for me. I've worked so much. I'm you're not taking a break. Because your mind is so stimulated from this that you're, it's, it's becoming more exhausted. You could have used this energy on learning about Blender. You could have used this energy on learning about how to manage your personal finances. You could have used this energy on doing, on doing some research on how to put on muscle mass or how to cut fat. Okay? Do you understand what I'm telling you? It's really that, like, you know the answer. You know how to get good at Blender. Everybody knows this shit. So you, in this day and age, after you watch this video, you even asking the question automatically makes you a dumbass. Because you know the answer to the question. And if you don't know the answer to the question, you can just Google it. So you have the answer right there. It literally means, it's literally the same as if I show you the time. Hey, can you tell me the time? And you tell me, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look at you like you're a fucking idiot. And then these people who, 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 who think this way, who don't make an effort, they, they call me arrogant. They call me an asshole because I look at you like this. But it's, the answer is literally right in front of you and you don't know the answer. How can I treat you as anything other than a complete fucking idiot? I'm sorry that I cannot treat you with the same level of respect as I treat somebody who put in genuine effort and who dedicated themselves to becoming good at something. Am I crazy for saying this? Is this really so hard to believe? Of course you're going to get offended. Of course you're going to get offended because your mind sees, your mind refuses to accept that it's your fault for not knowing this shit. All right? It's your fault for not taking the effort to get good at this. All right? I don't have anything else to say to you guys in this video. But go follow me on Instagram because on Instagram I make a bunch of polls and a bunch of stories where I post about some little tips and tricks to keep you going in life, all right? To get good at shit, all right? So that you can have a success. Most people are miserable. Most people are, are really just depressed and have no friends and have no future, have no life trajectory. They're not heading anywhere. Their lives are horrible. This is what I figured out from my experience being online. And this makes me indulge even more in my own personality because I see how, how wrong most people have it. I, I want to be nothing like you. Most of you anyway. I don't want to have anything to do with you. The, the further away and the more different I am from you, the better for me. Because I look at most people and this is a perfect example of what I do not want to be. So if that upsets you, I genuinely do not care. I, I cannot feel disrespected by somebody who I do not respect. It genuinely does not affect me. Okay? So this is the only kind of mindset that's going to get you successful at anything in life. All right? You have to understand that the reason everybody else isn't successful at this is because they don't look for solutions. They look for excuses. They try to complain. They try to find the reason for why they're not good at it because they don't feel like putting in the effort. And instead of just admitting that I'm not willing to do this, I'm not willing to put in the effort to accomplish this, they pretend like they're willing to, but there's something stopping them so that you can't blame them for being lazy. So they don't have to blame themselves and live in shame and live, live in guilt. Even though deep down they know that it's their fault. They know that, it, that they're guilty. And then when they see a guy like me, who's the exact opposite of this, if I want something and I don't got it, I find what am I doing wrong and I take accountability. And I force myself to overcome it. All of a sudden I'm an asshole. So you, you, you literally create an environment, a society, in which you reject the mindset of, okay, if you're, if you're bad at something or if you want to be good at something, you have to first acknowledge that you're bad at it because you haven't put in the effort and the people who have put in the effort, they're better than you and you have to listen to them. 
If you get offended by somebody telling you this, you're not going to learn anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I, I, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I'm getting paid. I don't actually care about about your life being any better. Most of you people are numbers on the screen for me. Okay? So you can't sit here and be offended by the way I'm presenting this information to you. You want something from me for free, basically. And now you're mad because you don't like the way I'm expressing it. Well, then don't watch it. Don't watch it. How can you allow this to emotionally stimulate you? What's the matter with you people? Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, now you know the answer. Join my Discord, ask me some questions, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, because on Instagram, you're going to be able to follow my curvature unless i get hit by a bus tomorrow my life in the next in the near future is going to be very interesting to follow you're going to see what i'm talking about okay so go follow me on instagram and you're going to see that what i'm talking about in this video i know what i'm talking about i'm clearly right and if you're mad then make sure to unsubscribe make sure don't, don't give me no comments i don't feel like dealing with this shit okay i don't or do comment, start a discussion, more engagement from me, whatever. I don't care. The comments are just numbers on a screen. It doesn't affect me. It's like if someone in the street calls me an asshole. Well, I don't even know who you are. Fuck you. What do I care? I'm fine. I'm an asshole. Great. Have a nice day. Wow, you offended me. Anyway, guys. If you haven't learned something from this video. If you're about to disagree with me, then... Please stop yourself and understand this. You are wrong.